Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with a Baby Buys haul. I think this is maybe the second one that I've done. I really haven't been buying that much at all for this baby, just because we don't need anything. Um, I was supposed to go to a mum sale last weekend when I'm sat down filming this, um, but I ended up going to a hospital <laughs> and was in there for like three days so I missed a mum's sale which I was devastated about I really wanted to go um, but obviously I couldn't so I went to one this weekend and it was a bit rubbish so I've got stuff from the mother care closing down sale um, because I thought I'd share what I got from there although none of you will be able to get that stuff now because mother care is completely gone um, mum sale and then just a few random other little bits so i'm going to start with the mum sale just because i didn't get much at all um so i picked up this game for p because p saw this and really wanted it we were going to my auntie's afterwards and i said that if she found a game that she would like i could get it for her so we could play it with my auntie um this is a tiger that came for tea but it's like a memory game so you have cards that you lay face down and then you turn two over, you try and match them. It's really good. Oh, sorry. Um, it was 50p. Um, the box is ripped, but the cards inside, they were sealed when we first got them. So she really likes that. And after watching The Tiger That Came For Tea at Christmas time, she's really into it, even though she loves the book. She's into her game. And then I literally just got like five items of clothing for the baby. Um... <coughs> got to excuse my cough um i came out of hospital and then got a cold which was really really fun um so i'm now getting over that um so i picked up this cardigan it's sort of like an ombre style cardigan um obviously it's from next everything that i pick, pick up is from next this was in size three to six i think yeah three to six but i would say that it's on the bigger side doesn't look it on camera but it is quite big um so we're due in march so i'm thinking like october time like when it suddenly change changes season um so that was a pound and it's really nice and thick it's like a zara style cardigan with the buttons so i picked that one up <coughs> God, so it's bloody cough um and then i just got a couple of summer outfits because like i said I don't know what the temperature is going to be like. I don't know how big this baby's going to be. I don't know if we're going to have a heat wave. I remember last April, we had a really hot Easter. So I might be in a situation where I need some like summery clothes for the baby. And obviously because when P went into her summer clothes, it's all a little bit out. Um, so again, all of these were from Next. So this is, I think this is quite a new print i remember seeing it in the september mid-season at next um it's just this really pretty little strawberry dress um so that with like some little nappy knickers i thought was quite sweet so that was 50p and then i got three rompers so i picked this one up this one's not my favorite but it's just one of those quick ones that you can just throw on it's got like little jungle animals on again from next this must have been in a set, um, so I like that one. These are all 0 to 3, if I didn't say. Picked up this white one. It's got a bit more of a detailing on it. Really pretty. And it's got detailing down at the bottom. It's got like a little bee beehive and stuff. So I like that one. And then my favourite one. Very, uh, like, Liberty print. Again, next. 50p. And it's just beautiful. It needs, like, an iron realistically am i gonna iron this no but it could do with like i might just straighten it i always like straighten things <coughs> just because it's easier um but yeah i really like that and then it's got like, the poppers in the crotch there so i feel like i've got enough rompers and stuff now for like when it changes i've got them in different sizes God, so this cough is driving me insane. Um, so yeah, I've got enough like not to three, three to six, and then I think P's got six to nine up in the attic. So I'm happy with those purchases. I mean, it wasn't absolute mission to get there because it wasn't on in Norwich. 
and I went there and spent £2.50 but got some bags up again if you're going to gender specify they are boys but they are towels and I don't care um, I really needed some towels I got these last week they were just randomly in like the reduced to clear section um, and I think it's just because the box is so badly damaged um, like you can see here like it's all ripped but <coughs> I'm going to put the box in the bin so it doesn't matter three hooded towels should have been £12 and they got reduced to £3.60 um, so you've got one blue one and then you've got two whites with like a slight blue trim I don't know if you can see that one's polka dot um, so I really needed some new towels because I didn't have any Ellie actually gave me two but they're obviously used and they're not as soft as what these are these are I'm really sorry if it's coming across annoying how I'm talking and stuff I can't get my breath I've got a cough it's not a great time at the moment <coughs> so I was having an ahhing about it but realistically £3.60 for three towels is a bag so I'm really really happy to get those I don't think I've ever used Tesco ones before and I don't know how big they are it doesn't actually say I actually got quite a few bits for P. Um, I went a bit crazy with the footwear. So, random miscellaneous things. I grabbed two of these sippy cups. They were so cheap. So, they were originally two fifty each. And that went down to... I ain't got a clue. I couldn't tell you. It went down to then 125 obviously because it was half price, and then it had 30% off of 125 So I don't know prices, but regardless, it was very cheap. Um, so I picked up two because I still use these now with P. They're great mugs for tea, um, like when she's sitting in, in the sitting room and I don't want her to spill like a, a cup. She obviously uses cups now. Um, but just because I'm a bit anal and worried about carpet and spillages and my sofa, when she has a cup of tea or hot chocolate, she has them in these. So I just thought, for the baby, I would just repurchase some of those. So she's got two of the same sippy cups, so I don't need to get those. Um, what else? On the same sort of like feeding section, I got these bowls. Um, so I think I saved all of P's like really old tatty nubby bowls i think i got in like the aldi baby event years ago i'm just gonna get rid of them and then just like use these so i got five for they were three pounds they were obviously half price went down to 150 um, and then i got the 30 percent off of that i really like the colors i think they're nice bright and colorful so again it's stuff that i didn't really need to buy but because it was so inexpensive I've got it so that when I do eventually start weaning, which makes me feel sick because the baby's not even here yet, I've got the option and the bowls to do so. One thing I was desperate to get were bibs, which I got, and shoes, apparently, because I ended up coming away with God knows how many pairs of shoes, which is ridiculous. I got these for the baby, and these are 9 to 12 months, UK size 3. So these will probably be her like first pair of slippers. Potentially Christmas present, I don't know, could go in her stocking. These were originally, hang on a second, six pounds. So three pounds with 30% off. They're quite cute, they rattle. P didn't walk until she was 14 months. Again, I don't know if this baby's gonna pick it up at nine months, I haven't got a clue, but school run things like that when i'm taking pee in the winter we've got some nice little like warm slippers to keep the baby's feet nice and warm and they're like got grips on the bottom and then i picked these ones up for when she's a bit smaller these are size three to six months so uk size one eight pounds eight this is why mother care went into administration who the fuck can spend eight pounds on these eight pounds that's insane Jesus, um, so I obviously paid like three pounds something for them, which is actually still quite expensive um, But they're just cute aren't they? And they're like little little buns. I think P picked these. I don't know. You just get caught up in the moment I was like, oh sale. It's the last time. So I got those ones 
and then I went a bit cray on the shoes for P. So, the sho looking at the receipt, the shoes had more than 50% off anyway. I think their pricing structure was so weird, I had no clue what was going on. Um, I think they had 70% off and then 30% off on top of that 70% 70, 70 price. I can't remember. Um, so these were £15, these are for P. These were £15. On the receipt, it's saying that uh, they were £4.20 and then I got more money off. So, I don't know, I can't remember and I'm not very good at maths. So these are for summer this year for her. They are beautiful and I absolutely love them. The thing is with these is that they are such good quality, like they are proper leather, lovely sandals and you're not even going to pay that price in like Primark well you would but not for the quality so this is what they look like they've got like a really nice like they're white with multicolour like flowers on them they've got a little buckle they've got bows at the front I got them in an infant size 8 so she's in between at the moment as it stands she sort of fits in some 7s some 7s are a bit too small so I thought these would be perfect for the summer for her. So these will be her summer sandals. And like I said, they were like less than £4. And I wish I got multiple pairs. Like in different sizes. Because they're beaut. Um, so they are her sandals for this year. Um, I got her another pair of sandals for next year. Depending on how her feet grow. Again, just because they were so cheap. Um, so again, £15. Paid four. Went down to 450 and then had percentage on top of that. Um, so these are the other ones. They're not necessarily my style per se, but again, for the price, they will go with everything just because of the colour. Um, and I think she'll love these. So they're silver with the little bow detailing, and then they've got the buckle around there. And they're the infant size nine. So again, she's got those. You never know, she might have a growth spurt and go into them this year, but I've got them. I can't find these ones on the receipt, but again, I paid like £4 something for them. They were originally £14, and then these are just like nice little slip-on sort of van style shoes, which I think are really pretty. I've got them in the size 8, so she can wear them this year. And they will go with everything, so shorts, skirts, because they're denim. I don't know how long these will last. Hopefully quite a long time, like they seem quite durable. I'm sure I'll be able to put them in the washing machine. So that is that pair of little trainers, which I love. What else did I get? I told you I went crazy when it comes to the footwear. These ones, trainers size 9, I think. Yep, should have been £15. Again, would have paid like 4 or something. Uh, and these are just sparkly trainers that, again, will go with everything. I don't know if she's going to need trainers for school because she starts full-time education in September. I don't know if she's going to, I assume she's going to have a PE bag, but I don't know if she has plimp soles. So whether she has these for school or just sort of outside use, as in outside of school, I don't know. But again, for like four quid, you can't even pay that in Primark. So they are her trainers <coughs> and sandals for this year and next year. I was a woman on a mission. I went a bit cray when it came to bibs. Um, I got all of P's old bibs out of the attic and they're just a bit tatty and not very nice. And I thought, you know what, this baby is going to need something new. Um, I know a bib's a bib, but these were all so cheap, like I've said. Uh, some of them went down to £3 with 30% off. Some went down to... Yeah, I think the majority of them went down to £3 a pack. So, so £3 with 30% off. I don't even know what that is. It's still like less than a pound a bib. I got two of the same. Um, just because the other style that they had in this design, I didn't really like that much. £6, full price, for two bibs. Again, that's why Mother Care must have gone into administration because their prices were just ludicrous six pounds that's three pounds a bib um so this is like a nice floral what's it called like heritage rose or something i saw 
I don't know. Um, I don't really like the lapels and things like that, but a bib is a bib. So I've got that one, and then this is why I got it, because I like these ones. So, they look massive. I mean, that's like the size of a newborn baby itself. So I got two packs of those, just because I got caught up in the moment. I don't really know why, but I did. So I got those two, and then I got these ones. Again, £6 for a two-pack. Obviously didn't pay that. This is a little bunny rabbit, and then this one which I quite like, and it's got a Velcro fastening. So that's that one. I have been going on saying about how much I despise bandana bibs. <laughs> I ended up buying two packs of them, didn't I? Again, I just got caught up in the moment. And to be fair, these ones aren't that bad. Some of the bandana bibs I see, I just think they're rank. But these ones aren't too bad. Um, so... These should have been £7, so they would have been three fifty with 30% off. So it's got this really nice, like, blue with a daisy and a ladybird. And we've just got, like, a nice little floral print one here. And to be fair, these are really thick. And then we've got a yellow one on the back. So, as bandana bibs go, I like these ones. And then... Um, I got the floral pack as well, so it's got like a really nice floral detailing one there, just a coral one there, and then the back one is like a different style of floral. Again, should have been set. Oh, these ones are seven fifty. Don't quite know why there's fifty p difference in price, um, but yeah, I've got them now. So these ones will probably be like when the babies go through that dribbly stage. Oof. And then I'm going to finish off with Mataman. So, yeah, I think this must have been the, the time after Boxing Day, but before, like, back to school. I can't remember exactly. Um, really randomly, I've got another sippy cup from Aldi Baby event. So this is, like, £1.30, I think. So I'm done with sippy cups and stuff now. I clearly just had a day of things for shoes. I got the baby some pram shoes just because these were so reduced they were really cheap um so these white ones should have been four pounds and they got reduced to a pound so they're just really pretty little pram shoes so again like if the baby's going to be wearing one of those little rompers like this i'll put frilly socks on and then the little pram shoes so that's those ones, and then those ones were in three to six, and then these ones are in six to nine. Should have been four pounds again. Got reduced to a pound, and they're just like more of like a, a fancy shoe. <laughs> um, I picked up P a pair of school shoes. Um, they didn't have her size that I needed, so she's currently in a seven, and she's been in them for a year, and they fit her really well, and they are really, really good school shoes. I am not a massive fan of patent, um, but they are really long wearing, and this is the pair that she's got currently, I think, but just in the next size up. I got hers last January, as in 2019, and she's still in them now, um, and the and these are what they look like so they're literally just black patent leather shoes with the velcro bar really nice sole from Matalan and these were so inexpensive so like I said they didn't have an 8 which is what I needed um, which was really frustrating they didn't have them online so I've got them in the 9 I don't know when she's going to go into them but she will eventually the price tags come off so it should have been 12 pounds and they got reduced to three pounds 50. so i highly recommend matalan for school shoes um they're just really good quality and i would have i probably am gonna have to spend 12 pounds on the size eight but they are really good hard long wearing shoes and then my final pair of shoes if you haven't seen enough already i've actually lost count as to how many shoes i've showed you are these these again are obviously from Matalan these are in the infant size 8 and these were five pounds they were half price so they went from 10 to, to 5 they had loads of different styles um I just really liked these 
and again I don't know if these ones are going to be eventually her school wellies or home wellies she has two pairs um I think her school ones fit her fine her other ones fit her fine as well um at home but her next ones I think they're like right on the border so yeah I just picked these ones up they're really pretty like pastel stripes really like them and five pounds for a pair of wellies is pretty cheap I thought she's had Matalan ones before and we've had no issues no splits no cracks nothing um and again they're just really long hard wearing so I'm really happy to get her a new pair of wellies so she's now set for shoes for god knows how long and then finally i told you i had like a massive sesh when it came to shoes and bibs i picked these bibs up for the baby um obviously for the baby um for when i wean i remember weaning with p i used the water uh, not water like the plastic back bibs i don't know if you can see or hear that they're like the scrunchy style and then like the weird cloth on the front <clears throat> i used these for weaning just because they didn't ever stain her clothes because they were plastic backs i think the ones she had when p was weaning were from asda but this was a five pack for one pound fifty so five one two three four five yeah and i've just got little stars on so i've got those for when i eventually wean and they were half price they should have been three pounds that is everything that i have got to show you of what i've brought the baby lately and p not too much i feel like i've done really well in the respect of just not going out and spending money like excessively because i just don't need to um so a lot of the stuff is now going to go up into the attic and come out as and when i need to use it no i don't need it all right now um but I'm happy with the things that I have got so I'm gonna go I hope you all enjoyed this really random haul apologies for the coughing it's driving me mad I'm planning on filming another video after this and I just don't think I can do it because my <laughs> my cough just keeps getting in the way and it's annoying me anyway I'm gonna go put all this stuff away I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in my next video bye